greetings from the Department of Biotechnology, Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering. I thank uh, uh, for some, uh, for providing me an opportunity for submitting a video as a part of National Innovation Contest of Ministry of Education, Innovation, and ASD. My innovation prototype is about with not a, a potent inhibitor of mitochondrial HSP native of the cellular carcinoma. Myself, I'm Professor Kuike Praveen Kumar from the Department of Biotechnology, and a student member is Mr. Abhinav Subramanian from 4th year Vita Chemical Engineering. Our basic prototype, uh, we are going to use a compound with not a, a compound from Ashwagandham, which can uh, use for tar targeting mitochondrial HSP 90 protein receptor of uh, heptocellular carcinoma, which is a primary liver cancer. Our problem statement is only one in 10 patients are cured in treatment of most of the advanced stages of cancer because of poor prognosis, diagnosis, and treatment of cancer. Patient based drug design is most important for the treatment of cancer. Our proposed first innovation is to target only cancer cells and not the healthy cells to avoid pain and side effects of the drugs in HCC patients. Mitochondrial targeting helps us to avoid loss of drug in targeting cancer cells alone, as the number of mitochondria is found more in cancer cells and not the healthy cells. Our proposed second innovation is to target the heat shock protein, which is a prognosis and diagnosis marker of hepatocellular carcinoma. Our third proposed innovation is to establish the method for isolating and purifying the drug for the lower class. Hepatocellular carcinoma, this is the primary liver cancer and the fourth leading cause of cancer death, uh, according to the World Health Organization. And according to the Barcelona Cancer uh, Clinic uh, liver cancer stages, uh, hepatocellular carcinoma is the fifth and final stage of the cancer. We are going to use a compound uh, uh, called uh, Avithanoid, which is extracted from a plant called Avithania somnifera, also called Ash Ashwagandham or Indian ginseng. So this plant uh, is uh, expected to account for around 115 million United States dollars by 2030 because of high demands. And uh, this is the mechanism of HSP, how our Avithanoid compound is going to target HSP-90 in hepatocellular carcinoma. Our basic aim is to study the anti-cancer effect of with not a loaded minor sponges on targeting advanced stage heterocellular carcinoma at the mitochondrial level. So these are the steps shown in Insilico protocol, which we have already completed in our lab and uh, going to do subsequent in vitro protocol. And these are the steps shown below. An in vivo protocol is shown here. Uh, we generally induce the heterocellular carcinoma in mice and we are going to target with not a uh, loaded nano sponges. And this is the overall methodology uh, in silico and with one in vivo protocol. Uh, which we're going to do it in our lab. So this is the uh, standard marketing uh, uh, drug, Sheldonamazin, which is a standard in, uh, HSP-90 inhibitor, uh, has some side effects like it's a hepatotoxic and price of the, uh, 10 milligram of the drug cost around 9.5 lakhs. And even if you see the withnode in a market, it, uh, the 10 milligram cost around 70,000, but uh, we established a cheapest protocol, uh, protocol to establish uh, uh, with uh, rupees to a thousand per 10 milligram of the drug. And uh, this is the pro protocol we established in our lab. We just generally isolate the compound uh, through the thin layer chromatography. We go to quantify the compound uh, using column chromatography, purify the HPLC. And uh, this is the uh, protocol we have established to characterize the compound using the FDA. In the computational study results, with not A has shown negative from maximum binding energy of 7.17 kilocalorie per mole. This shows that this is the best when compared to the standard marketing drugs like Chaldanomycin, Dexamethasone, and Sorafenib. Also, simulations are results shown is a base of better stability of uh, compound with respect to HSP9. So, these are the publications arised uh, in uh, our lab uh, on the cancer research. I acknowledge uh, 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 the uh, part of the uh, project funding uh, arise from DST serve under the RA scheme. Uh, also, I anticipate funding from ITI to prepare with not a drug loaded nanosponges for drug. Uh, targeted delivery and improving bioavailability with more efficacy, which is not uh, shown in the RA project. Uh, I thank uh, the Ministry of Education, Innovation Cell, and ASD for providing me an opportunity. So, thank you.